Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. We all love painting with our kids or grandkids, don't we? But sometimes it's hard to think of a fun subject to tackle together. So here's an idea for a simple but effective sheep painting that even the youngest can have a go at. You just need thick painting paper, a set of kids paints which includes white, a pencil and an eraser just in case. And if you go to my website at dianeanton.com you can download for free the sketch of the sheep, which you can then trace onto your paper or even print it out directly. So let's get started. I've got my ready prepared sketch here and I'm going in with some clean water, or relatively clean water, and a big brush just to dampen the background. Just going round the star to make sure that stays dry but wetting between the sheep and all around their heads and everything so that's all nice and damp. And I've pre-mixed some blue, dark blue paint, I think it was ultramarine, with um, indigo and violet. And I've made a loose mix, it's not thoroughly blended, so the colour's still a little bit separate from one another in the little palette here. And I'm just basically putting it on more or less at random so that we get a nice variegated effect with different colours as we go across the sky so it looks more natural. And if some of the white dots stay it doesn't matter, they just add to the effect of a night sky with the stars. So fairly carefully going around the sheep. Now I waited for that to dry a little but not completely and now I'm going in to paint the middle sheep. This is a very 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 pale wash of light brown into which I'm now dropping some dilute cobalt blue. Just letting it go more or less where it wants to go, not worrying about it running out into the sky. You can always deal with that later. A little dash of sepia for the legs and to define the top of the ears. The second sheep is treated in much the same way, dampening him down with a very, very pale grey wash. And then I'm going to drop in some sepia and just let that run and see how that fills up the whole space. Don't have to do much, just let it run. Working wet in wet like this you can get some interesting effects, but if something happens and you don't like it, you can always change it. Nothing's permanent. Now the third sheep, I'm going to make him a slightly light brown colour, slightly different from the other ones. So I'm dropping in, I think, a cobalt blue to start with and then a kind of grey brown. A little bit of shadow under the chin. Nice brown legs. When you're working wet in wet, you don't necessarily stroke the paper with the brush as much as just dab it with the paintbrush, the tip of the paintbrush. So you'll see me dabbing the paint in and letting it find its way. And now this is the painting after it's been allowed to dry for a little while. And you can see there's been a lot of movement into the sky from the back of the sheep. It doesn't matter, we can paint over that if it's too much. And now I'm just going in with a fine liner to indicate the eyes, the nose and the mouth of the three sheep. Very simple. Back into the sky now, which is perfectly dry. And this is... Uh, Dark blue, I think it's probably indigo and ultramarine, again, mixed together. We 
We don't need to be too fussy about how this is put on because we're going to put the stars in on top. So keep it nice and loose. Okay, now touching up the, the sheep a little bit to give them a bit more form. Now we're just painting wet on dry. I haven't wetted the sheep, I'm just dropping in the colour and letting it blend on the paper. I'll put a list of the colours that we used um, on the description under the video. This is raw sienna I think I've got here for the third sheep so that she's nice and warm colour. Darken up her face a bit, give her a bit more character. Put some shadow inside the ears. And now I'm coming in with some white gouache, which I'm using here on the sheep to indicate um, the fluffiness of their uh, fleeces. And the gouache, when it's put into wet paint, kind of turns into little puffy clouds, which is really sweet. You can have fun with that. Darkening up the legs a little bit. And now I've got my trusty toothbrush and some white gouache and we are creating something of a snowstorm as well as stars in the sky. That's a fun bit. You can take your time over this. And now yellow paint for the big star. And spatter a little bit of yellow for variety. And this is some indigo going into the sky as well to give it some depth. And if things run and get away from you too much, you can always use a tissue just to dab it off. Dab off the paint. Some final touches just to emphasize some of the edges that have gone a bit soft, a bit too soft. These last final touches are really optional. You don't really need to go in and tidy it up like this if you don't feel like it. And obviously if you're working with younger children, um, it's not likely to, to happen. So anyway, here we are, three happy sheep who seem to have snow on their heads. We have a lovely little flock of nine sheep of our own that live in our field. And so far they haven't ever experienced snow, but I'm sure if they do get to experience it, they'll absolutely love it. Look, here they are, three very happy sheep enjoying a beautiful starlit night. So I hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you here again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.